In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mod the MJX controller. Uh, you start off by removing the little screws from the back as well as the battery cover and the batteries. Lay the controller face down so nothing falls out of it and then remove the cover off to the side but don't tug on the battery wires. As you can see in the bottom here that silver bullet thing hot glued to the bottom is the antenna. And it's got it's uh, mounted with solder with a positive and a negative to that little circuit board. We're going to be replacing it with this 2.4 gigahertz Omni 5 dBi uh, wireless uh, Wi-Fi booster antenna. Be sure to check out the description for uh, how to shop for an antenna and what specs to look for. So I'm going to be mounting mine on the back right here. But first I need to uh, cut the wire down to size. So here I cut it down to size and exposed the positive and negative. The negative is the copper colored wire which I twisted together and then the positive is coming out of that little white insulated wire. So now I'm going to drill a hole for the wire to go through just like this. Then we need to drill some holes through the antenna. Now this one is a magnetic base and so got to, I'm going to remove the magnets just to make sure they don't interfere with the circuitry in the controller. So I dremeled through that black plastic cap to get a screwdriver under there and popped it out. And there's two circular magnets in there. I'm just going to get rid of those. And there's a metal plate in the bottom now and when uh, when I drilled my holes through it, it actually pushed and popped that out. But if you want, you can leave that in there and just drill through it. So that's what it looks like with the metal plate removed. And I lined those up on the controller and drilled two holes. And I, I kind of screwed up on that upper one, but it won't matter because it'll be covered up. So I got two bolts and pushed them through the base of the antenna and the controller and put two washers and two nuts on the back and just snugged it up. Now it's time to remove the original antenna. So you just pull on it and pop that hot glue loose. And then you want to get your soldering iron and uh, melt the solder contact points to pop this thing loose. But don't let the solder bridge and touch, touch the, don't let the positive and negative touch each other. So just go real slow and be extra careful on this part. There's the negative loose. And there's the positive. mount it to the circuit board going off to the right. That way the wires don't have a chance of touching any of the metal contacts on top of the circuit board. So I'm going to solder the negative first. just like that and then now the positive so that's what it looks like with both of them soldered in place and before we put everything back together it's a good idea to test the controller and make sure it actually communicates with the drone so with everything still apart I turned my drone on linked it to the controller and made sure the propellers still spin 
If it communicates with your drone, then you know you're good to go. As a safety precaution, it's a good idea to cover everything up in some hot glue to help make sure it doesn't pop loose. So I'm covering up my solder job here. I'm also going to put some uh, hot glue on the back of the nuts just to reduce the chance of them vibrating and coming loose. And I'm going to add super glue to where the wire comes through the metal, the uh, plastic casing. Um, but the hot glue was hitting the back of the uh, joystick, so I ended up having to super glue it down with Loctite Super Glue Liquid Professional flat against the plastic like this, so it didn't interfere with the moving parts of the joystick. You can see how that moves back and forth like that. So as long as you glue it down flat, then uh, it has plenty of clearance and worked out good. So now we can put this thing back together, and uh, it's a good idea to squeeze it together with your hands and make sure that the buttons click all right and the joysticks move okay, and then you can put everything back together. And there you have it. You've got a super boosted, long-range MJX controller.